Welcome to episode 6 of Penpa Plus. Today I want to talk about how to enable answer check in your puzzle so that when the user solves your puzzle, the Penpa tool displays a message saying correct answer. Let me set up a small grid so that I can uh, show you different options for the answer check. So let me set a 4 by 4 size. Reset. Okay, I have the small size grid. So the first thing I want to uh, tell you about is the and the penpa tool only checks for certain elements in certain styles uh, for the answer and that list can be found where the option for answer check url is available so which is basically share extra options and you have this generate url with answer check and as displayed uh, descri described here uh, the, this will only check for shading cells which are dark gray or black numbers which are green or in blue color then line edge wall in green color and then there are some shapes available as well which checks uh, for those particular shapes in the answer depending on your puzzle type so I just wanted to quickly show where this button is located but let's go through uh, quickly this whole process of enabling the answer check. So I'll first start with a shading type of puzzle. So let's say uh, you are creating a tapa puzzle. The first thing you should be in is edit problem mode because first you will enter the given clues. I need to enter number tapa. So let's say one, one, two, two. Um, yes, uh, this is a valid puzzle. And then you go to this edit solution mode to enter your solution in the dark gray cell. As I said, Penpa will only check for dark gray or black for answer check. So I'll, uh, this is the solution. So I have drawn the solution in solution mode. I'll just show what happens, let's say if I do this as green shaded cells, that is non-shaded cells, including the given clue. Then go to share, extra options, generate URL with answer check. Now this is a huge alphanumeric link. I want to shorten this, so there is this button URL short. So once you click this, it happens in background that the whole URL is copied to your clipboard. So the moment I land here, I can just do paste, which is control V. So the link appears and then I click shorten. So you have the shorten URL. And now if I open this URL in a new tab, let's test whether answer check is working. So I have the puzzle here uh, and I'm in the solver mode, surface, dark gray style and I'm sharing the solution. So you can see the pen part tool displays this message correct answer. And remember I have entered this green shaded cell while creating and it ignores that because the pen part tool only checks for dark gray or black. And you can have a mix of both colors. For example, if I remove this, instead of both gray, I'll have one gray and one black. It still validates the answer and displays as correct answer. So that's for shading type of puzzles. So let's go back to our drawing board. I'll ref I will delete everything from my grid. including this puzzle gear okay and let's say now i'm draw uh, doing lines 
it might be needed for some puzzle type for loop specifically loop types so let's say i am creating a mass u puzzle so i am in the problem mode back to problem mode let's say i need to enter some circles so shape a uh, medium size circle panel on and i can move panel to side and let's say i want to first add this and this so this is a valid mass u puzzle pretty easy but valid and now i don't need panel anymore so switch off now i go to solution mode and line normal green style and i know this is my solution i can add any other thing for example i can do some other color lines or have some pencil marks which is like cross marks uh, anything that's fine and let's say i have this puzzle like this and now i do the same process which is share extra option generate url with answer check i am not doing uh, shorting shortening this url now because i don't want to save this puzzle but let's test if if this link is working so i'll just open this link in a new tab so i have my puzzle and you might notice that while the mode you select in the solution like this mode line mode while in you are in the solution it retains that mode so when you the you when the user opens this link it is already in the line mode so this is one of the features we added to retain the mode so that user doesn't need to think about which mode to use to solve this puzzle and he can directly start drawing the line so let's solve this now and you can see it displays correct answer so let's say if i erase this and I, if i use red color nothing happens because it only checks for green color loop i i can add this pencil marks i can use blue color normal blue color nothing will happen so only when i go to back to green draw this it will display correct answer so that's with line similar with edge so let's change uh, go back to drawing mode and let's delete everything problem delete let's create a slither link where you draw edge edges let's create smaller i think reset okay sorry guys so one uh, two three and i can simultaneously solve so that i can ensure i'm creating a valid puzzle so i'm not to be in edge mode i'm in solution so i'm trying to solve this let's back to problem one more A two I think this will work and one okay and okay I have entered my clues I go back to my solution mode to continue the solution so it has to be like this this okay yeah this is valid puzzle so i have drawn my solution in the solution mode same thing share url uh, sorry extra options generate url with answer check open it's already in edge and normal mode because it retains the last state you have selected and if i solve this correct answer so that's with edges and one final thing i want to show is the number mode it also checks for some other shapes which you can check in the back to editing grid uh, so you can check in this description as i said earlier 
but let's uh, reset this let's actually do a new reset grid and I want solid line blah outside reset okay um okay wait I don't want grid points okay so let's say now you're creating a sudoku I'm not showing the entire grid but it it follows the same trend let's say I am in the problem mode I enter my given clues one and two so valid I guess uh magic uh, pseudo not magic but the <clears throat> uh put put one two three in each line and column that's it there's no region so let's say i have this puzzle and i have entered my clues in the problem mode then i go to the solution mode and for the sudoku it accepts green or blue color or one of the sub modes as well normal l m S L is nothing but large size, medium size, small size. So let's I'm back to solution mode and now I'm entering my solution. And I'll show you that it accepts mix of all these things. So let's say normal green and three and blue color. Then I go to large sub mode, enter one, uh, medium sub mode, three, small sub mode, dark blue, one to back to green normal or even candidate single digit three i've entered all possible kind of uh, all possible ways of entering single digits right and let's say same process again share extra options url with answer check open so I have this puzzle, it's already in the number mode and the last retained selection. But I let's go to normal and let's say if I entered in directly blue color, three, two, medium, uh, light blue, let's say one, three, and then finally green with candidates, two, three. So you can see it displays correct answer. I hope in this video you learned how you can enable answer check for different kinds of puzzle which, in, which uses shading, number, lines, edges or combination of these. It doesn't have to be just number. It can be loop and numbers, shapes and numbers and loop, all combination whichever is described in this section it will check for all those options to validate the answer. I hope you like this video and please like and subscribe this channel to stay tuned with the latest videos. And I always welcome any feedback, any comment. If you want me to cover any particular topic or a particular type of puzzle on how to create using Penpa, please let me know through comments or send an email to penpaplus at gmail.com it's also present on the penpa site and just to remind you it also has a readme file here for instructions to use some faqs as well uh, do check it out they are kind of very informative and i till then take care bye guys